Hello and welcome to this tutorial on finding the volume of a pyramid. Let's begin with a definition. A pyramid is a solid object where the base is a flat shape with straight sides, therefore the base of a pyramid is a polygon, and the sides are triangles which meet at the top. So here we call the top the apex. And in the real world we have a very famous example of pyramids. Those are the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. We will now look at this object here and check whether the definition of a pyramid applies. So this object has this base here and the base is a four-sided shape. Therefore the base can be a square or a rectangle or so on. And if we look at the sides we can see that the sides are made up of these triangles and there's four of them and they all meet at the top so this is the apex. Therefore this object here fits the definition of a pyramid. Now the base does not have to be always be four-sided. As we said the base can be any polygon so we can have a triangle or a pentagon or so on but in this tutorial and in more, most questions that you will encounter the base is typically a triangle, a square or rectangle. Before taking a look at some examples, let's briefly compare the volume of a cone and a pyramid. Starting with a cone, we know that the base of a cone is a circle. And in order to find the volume of a cone, we need the following two measures. The radius of the circle here, and also the vertical height of the cone. And please note the vertical height and the radius are perpendicular to each other. Then, the volume of a cone equals one-third multiplied by the base area multiplied by the vertical height. We will call the vertical height h and the base area then is just the area of this circle. So the radius is r, therefore the area will be pi r squared. And the volume of a cone is then a third multiplied by pi r squared multiplied by h. Putting this together, we have V for volume equals a third pi r squared h. And here the units are very important, so if the radius, for example, is in centimeters, the volume will be in centimeters cubed. So please do not forget. Moving on, let's look at the volume of a pyramid. And we're going to look at the square base pyramid, so this base here is a square. And the approach for finding the volume of a pyramid is going to be the same regardless of the base. But we will just look at the square base pyramid for now. And to find the volume, again we need two measures. We need the length here, so one side of the square. And we also need again the vertical height of this pyramid. And then the volume of a pyramid equals one-third multiplied by the base area multiplied by the vertical height. So this is the same as the volume of a cone. What is different, however, is the base area. Now the base is a square instead of a circle, and therefore the base area will now be the area of a square. So here the base area will be the length multiplied by itself, because it's a square, and we will call the length L, and the vertical height is then H. So the volume of a pyramid equals a third multiplied by L squared multiplied by H, and then putting this together we have that V equals a third L squared H and again don't forget the units cubed at the end. Let's take a look at example one. A miniature model in the shape of a square based pyramid is shown. Calculate the volume of this model. So here's the model and we are told it's in the shape of a square based pyramid so the base here is a square and therefore if this side length here is 5 millimeters, the length here is also 5 millimeters. We are also given the vertical height, 7.5 millimeters. So now to find the volume, we just use the formula volume of a period equals a third multiplied by base area multiplied by vertical height. The base area then is going to be 5 squared and the vertical height 7.5. Substituting these, the volume equals a third multiplied by 5 squared multiplied by 7.5 
and then just finishing off the calculation we have that the volume of this pyramid equals 62.5 millimeters cubed and here millimeters cubed because the units given in the question are millimeters in example 2 we are given the triangle based pyramid below has a vertical height of 15 centimeters calculate its volume so in this example the base now is not a square but a triangle and we have the vertical height given as 15 centimeters you can now pause this video and try finding the volume yourself and when you are ready for the solution please press play So in this example, we need to use volume of a pyramid formula again. So the volume equals a third, multiplied by base area, multiplied by vertical height. The vertical height, of course, is 15. We're given this in the question. And the base area will be then the area of this triangle. And this triangle is actually a 90 degree triangle, so it's a right angle triangle. So the area of this triangle then will be a half, multiplied by its base, 7 and then multiplied by the height 4. Substituting these values the volume then equals a third multiplied by a half multiplied by 7 multiplied by 4 and then multiplied by 15 the vertical height. And then all we do we just calculate this and we find that the volume of this pyramid here equals 70 centimeters cubed and centimeters because the units given are centimeters. So this is a different example to the previous one. Again, we are finding the volume of a pyramid, but instead of a square base, we have a triangle base. Let's take a look at example 3 now. In this example, we are given. The rectangle-based pyramid shown has a volume of 90 centimeters cubed. Work out its vertical height. And here's the pyramid, so we can see that the base is a rectangle. And here we have 5 centimeters and 12 centimeters this way and this is the vertical height which is unknown so we need to find h but of course we are given the volume in this question so we can use the volume formula to then find h so the volume of a pyramid then is a third multiplied by the base area multiplied by the vertical height the vertical height is unknown the base area is the area of this rectangle. It's a 12 by 5 rectangle, so that's 12 multiplied by 5. And the volume is 90 centimeters cubed. So we substitute these values. Therefore 90, that's the volume, equals 1 third multiplied by 5 multiplied by 12 multiplied by h. And then we just simplify the right hand side and we have that 90 equals 20 h and dividing by 20 we have that h equals 90 over 20 which of course equals 4.5 centimeters so the vertical height equals 4.5 centimeters so this was a different question we didn't find the volume but instead we used the value for the volume given to find the vertical height let's take a look at the final example of this tutorial a glass sculpture in the shape of a square based pyramid is shown below. Calculate the volume of the glass sculpture. Now the base here is a square since the sculpture is in the shape of a square based pyramid and the side length of the square is 6 meters. We also have this measure here of length 5 meters and this is the slanted height of the pyramid. Therefore the vertical height is not given and this makes finding the volume of this pyramid more challenging than in the previous examples and this is because in order to find the volume we need to find the vertical height first you can now pause this video and have a go at this question and when you are ready for the solution please press play First of all, we need the formula for the volume of a pyramid.
which equals 1 over 3 multiplied by base area multiplied by vertical height. For the base area, we need to find the area of this square. So the length here is 6 meters, therefore the area equals 6 multiplied by 6. The vertical height then is this, and we will call it h. So we need to find h. The volume then equals 1 over 3 multiplied by 6 squared multiplied by h. Now, in order to find h, we first note that the vertical height meets the base at the center of the base. So this point is at the center of the base. And the slanted height meets this segment here, the side of the square, halfway through. And if we join these two points together, we have this line segment. Now this line segment is parallel to this segment here, so the side of the square. And as well as being parallel, the length of this segment is half the length of the side of the square. So the length here is 3 meters. Also, the vertical height and the segment meet at 90 degrees. So there is a right angle. And if we look closely, we can see now we have a right angle triangle. Here is the length h, this length is 3 meters, and this length is 5 meters. And now we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find h. Pythagoras' theorem says that the square of the longest side in a right angle triangle equals the sum of the square of the two other sides. In this illustration, c is the longest side, therefore, according to Pythagoras' theorem, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. In our example, the longest side is 5. Therefore, applying Pythagoras' theorem, we have 5 squared equals 3 squared plus 8 squared. This means 25 equals 9 plus 8 squared. And then subtracting 9, 16 equals 8 squared. And taking the square root, the positive square root, h equals 4. Now we substitute h is 4, and therefore the volume of the pyramid equals 1 over 3 multiplied by 6 squared multiplied by 4, which equals 48 meters cubed. And meters because the units here are meters. So this example was more challenging. And that is because we needed to use Pythagoras' theorem to first find the vertical height before finding the volume of the given pyramid. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.